Welcome back everybody to another video and today we're looking at this six quart Instapot which feeds up to six people. It's absolutely massive and it's extremely versatile. Now most people know this as a pressure cooker to do things like slowed co cooked beef, uh, pulled pork, pulled chicken, all sorts of recipes inside of it very very fast and with great quality. But today I'm going to show you how to make a French onion soup inside of it and really show you the versatility of this cooker. Now we can start by looking at all the menu options here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. There are tons and tons of options. You have soup, you have meat, you have beans, you have poultry, slow cook, sauteed, pressure, keep warm, yogurt, you can make yogurt inside of it, steam, porridge, multigrain, rice, it literally can do everything and that's one of the best parts about the Instapot. So in order to get started with this demo, we actually won't need the pressure cooker lid today. Instead, I'm just going to be using a lid off another pot which will allow it just to keep a little top on it and I can still see through it. Now what you're going to need to do is use the saute setting. So we're gonna go ahead and click saute and then press start. Now it's set to 30 minutes and that's the perfect time. So we're gonna start by pressing saute. It's now on, it takes a few seconds. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is add your butter right in there. Now, your butter is what you're gonna use with your onions to start cooking. twist it off. We're gonna go ahead and open this up and look at that. Now, before I show you our final results, I want you to remember this was cooked in a matter of probably 45 minutes total with doing next to no work. And look at that French onion goodness. Now, what I would suggest doing is cooking this down just a little bit more so you can leave the lid off and put it on warm or simmer. And this is gonna allow some more of that broth to cook out so you get some amazing flavor out of that and a little thicker uh, broth, which is usually what you want with a French onion soup. So the last step, now that we have our soup cooked, we want to take a ramekin like I have here or some sort of bowl. It's totally up to you. I like using something that can be used in the oven. Now you want to scoop out, first of all, some onions. You want lots of onion flavor in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just pack this full of onion and save some of the broth. Since I didn't really give it time to cook out here, and I'll add a little bit of the broth at the end there so we get something like that texture right there. Cancel this now that it's cooked out a little bit. Now, what I have here is just some baguette, which I baked for a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and take that and we're gonna put that directly on our soup like that. Try to fit it in there. Now, what's the most important part of a French onion soup? A nice mixture of cheese. So we wanna take our cheese and we really want to pack it on there. And this is going to go in the oven on broil just to finish it off. Now you don't need to do this step. You can also microwave it if you really wanted to. Um, but this is going to make sure that cheese is nice and crispy. Uh, and I'll come back and I, I'll really give you a good look 
of what it looks like with all this cheese melted and that nice baguette, baguette just kind of soaking up all that delicious broth. Okay, so you can now see that this was in the oven just on broil. And look at that amazing fresh French onion soup that we made in just a matter of minutes. Look at that. That's what you can make with this pressure cooker from Insta. Make sure you check it out.